Everything I witnessed turned out to be spectacular that day. Guys, two coming from the left. To the left, right here, Tom. Get ready. Okay, get him. Get him. Hi, everybody, it's Tom now. Most of you know me as Benelli's exhibition shooter, but I've been an outdoorsman all my life. Come along with me as I investigate another lifelong dream of going on safari. Benelli's American Safari. After I made a call to my good buddy Scooter, which is Scott Eberhardt, uh, uh, Eberhardt Decoys, well, Scooter lined me up on a California tour. He's got so many contacts, I can't wait what he's got in store for me out here in California. I mean, these contacts of yours, they really got some stuff going here. When I knew Tom was coming out here, you know, I'm, I was trying to find him some different hunts, you know, that are not normally seen on TV. He promised that there was going to be some extraordinary bird hunting going on. He contacted some of his friends and he even lined up a wild hog hunt. How big are these pigs around here? Can you get a big one? You can. Yep. There's pigs out here anywhere from, you know, six pounds to 300 pounds. A lot of spectacular things happen. Number one, I end up hey. meeting a guy that uh, some of them referred to as the speckled belly king. And boy, does Mike Moore know how to get watch. those birds to cooperate with his spread. It's a goose hunt of a lifetime. We were back out of there. We even cooked up some of these speckled belly uh, breasts uh, right on the tailgate of his, uh, his Polaris Ranger. It was absolutely fun. Then we get hooked up with his buddy RJ. <laughs> These guys are rigged. They got uh, these, these river boats. And he gets us put into this floating blind, and we saw lots of ducks, but nothing would come to the call. Scooter goes, don't worry, don't worry. RJ has got uh, plan B. Tom, I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, shift gears. We're going to go down to Susun Bay and uh, try to shoot some diver ducks. We went for a medium length boat ride, and uh, we got nestled into a bottom side of an island. Where are we sitting? Right here, Tom. Right here. Yeah, we'll spread out right along here. I'm liking this. The bay ducks, the diver ducks, um, they'll feed on the mud flats and uh, in all over in the estuary there, and then we'll hunt them when they come to loaf, um, you know, on the higher tide. Oh, Does this jacket make me look fat? As soon as we got down there, we were instantly into the golden eyes. Oh, my dear Lord. Oh, look at them right in front. Yeah, well, 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 now. Hold it now, don't. Hit that one, Tom. Shoot that one, Tom, he said. Oh, good jump, Riley. Now listen, slow down, guys. We can't just shoot 15 ducks all in 10 seconds here. Scott says, okay, boys, let's not, uh, let's not shoot the hens. Let's just go Drake only. Uh, we can, Scott. I, it's up to you guys. And I'm going, hey, man, I mean, uh, if they're legal, you're kind of cutting into my time limit here. I mean, I'd like yeah. to get my limit out of this. Yeah, he says, let's just go Drake's only. Oh boy. Drake, no, Drake's, Drake's are good. Tom, what do you think? That's a nice one. Nice Drake. I need to need somebody to call out if it's a shooter or not. We got a, that's a hen. <laughs> yeah. Up front. Whatever you want, Tom. Hey! Hey! Got another little surprise uh, in store for him. All right. 
Benelli's American Safari is presented by Benelli Simply Perfect and by Benelli USA's family of sporting arms. Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Federal premium ammunition, every shot counts. Champion traps and targets, shoot better, have fun. Under Armour, athletes hunt. And by Hunter Specialties. So, um, are there any Republicans in California? You have gotten me involved with a bunch of different hunting techniques here. Different uh, outfitters, different ways of hunting, different regions that we're hunting in. This has really been an educational trip for me. And this was a beautiful setup. And these ducks were burning our decoys up. And they specifically set out these uh, golden eye decoys. And this is the common golden eye. They have a round patch of uh, feathers on the side of their face, which allows you to distinguish between the hen and the drake. When you move their, their head in the sunlight, they make a million different colors of blue and greens. To see the golden eyes coming in locked up from, you know, so high, and they, you know, cup up and come right into the decoys, I mean, it is, it's a sight to see. I mean, and they're, cut, they're as soon as you see them, I mean, they're there. Coming right in, Ooh. coming right into the decoys. Right in Do him. Nice shot. He took a dive. How many uh, golden eyes? Seven each. Seven each. And we are in the middle of these drakes here. Picking out the drakes, look at that. Now Riley, he knows the duck from a decoy, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> Coming in up top. Coming in, stay. Get him, Bar Jake. Nice. <laughs> nice shot, Fetch it up. This is kind of fun. I don't think it hit the water before you got it a second time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when they dive, bud. <laughs> and she says, I got one following me. Right here, right here. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> too late. Good. Coming she back, got it's coming back, it's coming back. Go, go. Nice shot on that one, Scooter. Nice, right, stay, stay. The black cloud does it again. Come on, Shy. Come on. Look at these drakes coming in. Damn. Well, I can see we may not have brought enough shells with us. Well, what a flurry of excitement. Holy cow. Yeah. What a deal. Not too many spots where you can uh, shoot a bunch of golden eyes like this. Now, this either. is a very liberal limit out here. Yep. And uh, to, to be able to take seven of one species, uh, you've got a lot of these ducks around here, the yeah. way it looks to me. Your dog, Riley, seems to be able to handle that tide current pretty well. He's pretty conditioned to it now since we first started hunting them. You know, it's almost like they know the tide, they see the bird and they, they judge the, you know, the lead they need to give the bird to get to them. you got always got a, a helper with you or a boat ready to go. So yeah, absolutely. If they get caught in that tide now, uh, Riley was out there trying to chase a cripple down, and a crippled diver is, uh, well, they, they're divers, so they're real tough for a dog to get. Tom, right here, bud. Right in front, coming in hard. Okay, take him. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice, nice shot. Good girl. These are all really nice looking drakes here, man. Yeah, Sophie would have a ball out here with you guys. coming in on the right. Hey! These birds would take a hit. You'd literally move the bird to the side. That's a sign of a solid hit. To see 
that many golden eyes flying around that afternoon was something I had never seen before in 30 something years I've been hunting. It's nine degrees oh, back in Minnesota and I'm hunting in shirt sleeves. Boy, look at all these birds on the right. Get them, Tom, get them. Hey! That a boy. Nice shot, Tom. Thank you. He's hit pretty hard when their wings close like slapping yeah. a book shut. <laughs> There's a restaurant in this town of Rio Vista. This is a museum of wild game mounts. Driven with Tim Bradley is presented by Flunky Shotguns. Pass along the tradition. During my live shows, I have a shot that I refer to as the diver duck. Now what this shot consists of is I'll take a target, throw it as high as I can possibly throw it, wait for it to get close to the ground, shoulder the gun, and break the target. It's a lot like a springing teal. Okay, now there you see, I threw that target as high as I could possibly throw it, waited for it to get close to the ground, shouldered the gun, and broke the target. But you did notice those divers are pretty fast birds, didn't you? Well, sometimes they come into the decoy so fast you can't get your gun to your shoulder. So in a situation like that, about the only thing you can do is shoot them from the hip. So let's try this hip shot on a diver. Like I was saying, sometimes those divers are pretty fast and your only option is to shoot them from the hip. I'm Tim Bradley for Benelli USA. What is it? Ah! <laughs> he dives. RJ has, not only is his equipment uh, number one, but his plan of action is number one. The California Delta is a series of you know, five or six rivers that all converge in one spot and then eventually dump out into the San Francisco Bay and into the Pacific Ocean. The main two rivers are the San Joaquin River and the, and the Sacramento River. Absolutely the funnest part of the hunt was watching those dogs. I had to take one or the other, my gun or a dog. I'd leave the gun at home. I'd take the dog and I'd let you do the shooting because watching these dogs is just absolutely wonderful. Watch these two, they're, they're circling around out there. Take them. Tom, gee, that was a dandy on the Benelli cam you're going to see that that bird was actually shot at approximately 35 yards, and the lead was three and a half feet in front. I'm looking over the top of it, and the thing is a large diameter uh, camera head. The camera sees the right sight picture, but I don't see the right sight picture. I'm the guy that has to deliver that shot. I know I wouldn't want to shoot a gun with that thing on there. <laughs> And I reached up there, I fired and shot behind him, very typical thing to do, and I corrected my sight picture. A lot of people will try the same shot over again. In this little bit of gun camera footage, you're going to see me make the mistake of not being far enough, and then correcting that mistake to make that clean kill. RJ, how long have you been hunting in this area? Um. It's about 10 years. Wow. No wonder you can navigate your way up these uh, river channels and stuff in the dark of the morning without a GPS. I have to look at my GPS just to find out where I am right, right now. Right side. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were coming from all sides. They're coming direct in from the front. But these golden eyes started storming. Coming from the right. 
Well, the golden eyes, uh, they're, they're a, a very double. sought after bird. It's a lot of guys like to have them mounted because the, the, the drakes are so, so beautiful. Guys, keep coming from the left. Right to the left. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Okay, take them. We're going to go from uh, feathers to fur and uh, shotgun to rifle. Benelli's American Safari is presented by Benelli Simply Perfect and by Benelli USA's family of sporting arms, Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors, federal premium ammunition, every shot counts, champion traps and targets, shoot better, have fun, Under Armour, athletes hunt, and by Hunter Specialties. Well, when I grew up as a young boy in southern Minnesota, I never thought I'd be hunting ducks in California. Hit that one, Tom. Nice shot. Get him, Tom. Get him. Hey! Right side. Right side. <laughs> Back it up! The guys, that makes our limit. <laughs> oh, man. 21 beautiful drakes. There's the last one. Good hunt. That a boy. Thank you, guys. RJ, this has been one big day for me. Man. Thank you guys for a wonderful hunt. 21 Drake Golden Eyes, uh, that doesn't happen too often. I've never done it. It was a grand slams. We had 21 Golden Eye Drakes, seven for each one of us. Some of them were such a miraculous large bird that uh, uh, Scott's gonna have a few of those uh, mounted. It is really rare to shoot all Drake Golden Eyes um, in that part of the bay. I didn't think we were doing anything special until we got back to Foster's Big Horn Restaurant and a few guys in there said, you did what? This is the most unique restaurant. It's got game heads that were collected. The latest or newest feature in that restaurant is an elephant that was hung on a wall in 1951. This is a museum of wild game mounts. And so that's just a point of interest here in Rio Vista. I'll have a chocolate milk, please. <laughs> so we've uh, we've had a couple great days of uh, duck and goose hunting uh, with Tom, and I've uh, got a got another little surprise. Uh, and we're gonna go from uh, feathers uh, to fur and uh, shotgun uh, to rifle. Scooter's got me lined up with a ranch. You're Jeff. I'm Jeff. How you doing? Good. How you doing, Tom? Nice to meet you. Very, very pleased to be here. You know Scooter already. Absolutely. How you doing, Scooter? Hey, Jeff. Listen, what's in store? Well, we're on a 12,000 acre ranch in our West Sonoma County. And he says, this place is loaded with pigs. How big are these pigs around here? Can you get a big one? You can, yep. There's pigs out here anywhere from, you know, six pounds to 300 pounds. And there's a lot of Russian boar mixed in with these Absolutely. pigs? Absolutely. They brought hogs with them on their ships, and you know, years gone, the, the hogs were released and got out in the wild, and that's where our you know, Russian pigs came from. How about if we get out of the rain, get going, and uh, we're gonna do some stock and spot and that kind Absolutely. of stuff? Yeah. head out towards the vineyard and kind of look into the vineyards and see if something's out there looking for an easy meal. There's these little tiny private vineyards. The pigs get in there and the, the vineyard owners were telling us that, you know, the pigs cause great damage. Did you check out my uh, clear ballistic tips here? Federal trophy bond. A 
us a red-footed salamander. <laughs> we need to see a pig. Boars usually spend the time, this time of the year, uh, by themselves. They, they remove themselves from the uh, group. This deal turned out to be one of these things where I'm thinking, well, we could probably quit any time. I'm satisfied, had good waterfowl hunt. Thanks for your help. I know they went through a lot of trouble setting this up for me. Cool, too. When you look so hard for something and you can't find them, and all of a sudden, Scooter's going, there's one, there's one right there. He's dead, he's dead. Well done. <laughs> no high-fiving on my show. <laughs> but I do thank you. I thank you very much for putting me on this thing. Absolutely. Scooter, you're, you got some eyes. I got really serious about this pig. Even at 100 yards plus, looking down the hill, I could tell that this was a decent-sized nice eating pig. You don't know how good this makes me feel. I knew he killed it on the first shot. He was about, I would say about 175 pounds. Uh, he had a lot of fat on him. He was a very healthy animal. This one had the great ridgeback hair. You know, I, I don't think he really could have killed a better hog. Scooter, your eyes looking forward all the time. Uh, you saw this devil before any of us. Jeff, I hope the people at home had a big, a, a big a time watching this episode as I had doing it with you, and I sure thank you for having me here. Ton of fun, bud. Uh, next time you feel like coming to California for a wild pig hunt, trust me, it's a lot of fun. You're not gonna wanna miss one episode of Benelli's American Safari. There's no whispering on my show. No one. Hey! This thing comes from Africa. Hey. It just keeps getting better and better. I'm Tom Knapp, and remember, think safety first, and then have a good hunt.